Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Aeon's End. Today we're going to be playing against the Wanderer. Um, so it's a pretty funky um, nemesis. Uh, so I've gone ahead and set up the uh, the uh, pylon. Uh, so we place four dampening pylons into play and then each pylon suffers one damage. So they're all at nine. Uh, and the additional rules here are uh, reduce all damage dealt that is dealt to the Wanderer by abilities and player cards to one. Um, and then during any player's main phase, that player may spend any amount of ether to gain an equal amount of, or to deal an equal amount of damage to the Wanderer. And when a pylon is discarded from play, place it into the pylon discard pile. Um, its unleashed ability is any pylon suffers two or gains two life, or any player suffers two damage, or the Wanderer gains three life. So we have to the um, the way to the most efficient way to deal damage, I guess, is going to be spending ether um, to deal damage to the wanderer. Starts with forty life. The mages we're using are Mazra and Claudia, and the market cards we're using are uh, Olivin Knight, Recurring Jasper, Energized Rubidium, Polyphase Turbine, Breach Extractor, Jewel Flash. Storm Vapors, Dust Caller, and Symbiotic Synapse. Um, and I think that is everything for setup. Um, so we can go on uh, to the first turn. Um, so we'll use dice as normal. The red dice is going to be the Wanderer's turn, green for Mazra and white for Claudia. The first turn goes to Mazra. So here I think I'm going to prep Mazra's studies and I have four uh, crystals, and I think I want to buy a storm vapor or storm vapors. Um, so we'll put that there. We draw back up to five. And the next turn is Claudia. And here we have four crystals and an ether scope. So basically, five, uh, five ether to spend. And I think here um, I'm going to spend all five uh, on a dust collar. Um, and we can draw back up to five. And then the next turn is Claudia again. Um, and here we have another four. So I think I'm going to open my breach uh, four for four and prep the spark to breach number four. Um, and draw back up one, two, three, four, five. And the next turn then is Mazra. So we're gonna have two um, two Nemesis turns in in one go. So I think I'm gonna cast Mazra Studies uh, to focus uh, breach three. I'll prep that, uh, and I have I have four ether here, um, and I think I'm going to buy a. Recurring Jasper. And we draw back up. So one, two, three, four, five. And then obviously the last, the last two turns have to be the Nemesis. So we get a minion, uh, Energizing Archon. When this minion suffers damage, any pylon gains one life, uh, persistent effect grave vault suffers two damage. So it has a life of four. Uh, and then the last is the nemesis. So grave vault suffers two damage. So we go down to 28. Um, and the next is a power three. So if a pylon in play has five or less life, grave vault suffers three damage. Otherwise grave vault suffers six damage. Ooh. It's a nasty one. So that's a power three. And we go on then to the next turn. And it goes to Claudia. So here. And I think I'm going to cast a spark for two damage. Uh, I'll prep the dust caller. And then I have four uh, ether. I think I'm going to buy a recurring Jasper. Draw back up one, two, three, four, five. 
And the next turn is Claudia again. Um, hmm. I'll cast the Dust Caller for five. Um, I think I will just do that to Anthony Pylon. Um, any alley returns a card in hand or a card that costs zero ether to, in their, from their discard pile to their hand, so there is none. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five ether here. Um, and I think I will buy an energized rubidium. Um, or I'm tempted to go with maybe it's a bit too early for that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go with an energized rubidium. Let's draw back a one, two, three, four, five. And the next turn then is the Nemesis. So Grave Hole suffers two damage, 26. This goes to two. And we get power to unleash any player discards two gems in hand. So that's a power two. So that goes there. And the next turn then, it's the Nemesis again. Another two for Grave Hold from that. Uh, this goes to one, this goes to one. And we get an Unleash. The player with the most prep spell suffers one damage and discards a prepped spell. Um, so the Unleash, we can, I think I'll take two damage here. Um, and then we have to, well, no, I'll take two damage to Claudia. And then this is the most prep spells. So we take one damage, goes to nine and discards a prep spell. It's unfortunate. Um, and then we go on and it has to be Mazra. So we'll prep that and then we have one, two, three, four ether. I think I'm going to buy two charges with this four ether. Try and start upgrading her. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And the last turn then is, of course, Madra. Um, so here I'm going to cast Storm Vapors for three. Um, that's going to hurt. Um, I'll destroy that minion. Um, prep that, and then I have two, three, four, five. And I think here I will spend four, well, two and four ether to gain another two charges. Uh, so we're fully charged up. Um, if the top card of your discard pile is a spell, you may place this back on top of your deck. Uh, which I will do. Uh, I have one ether left. Um, I don't have any way to spend it. I'm going to spend all these charges um, to destroy a card with Mazra in its name in your personal up. Um, well, in my hand, so I can't do that. Um, okay, so we'll leave the four charges as they were. Two, three, four. Um, and end our turn there. So we go on one, two, three, four, five. Um, oh, no, I could have. Sorry, I, I could have. Um, instead of prepping this, uh, I could have kept it in hand, spent these four, um, destroyed this, and gained uh, Mazra's Ark and prep that instead um, because it costs three more than zero um, and that go and place the game card into my hand which then I prep and then I go on so one two three four five and go on then to the next round and it is Majra so we have Master Dark, uh, so we can cast this for three. Um, let's do that. 
to this screen. So take it down to one. Um, and then we can prep that. We have two, three, four, five ether here. Um, and I think I will spend five to buy an energized rubidium. Draw back up, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, before I do that, um, I could keep recurring Jasper um, because Mazda's are, no, I won't. I, I want those two together. So one, two, three, four, five. And the next turn is the Nemesis. So this goes off uh, and unfortunately Grave Hall suffers six. That was probably a mistake by me. Um, and then this also goes, uh, any player discards two gems in hand. So we have two, three, four, five in hand there. Or one, two, three, four here. Um, hmm. I think I will allow Claudia to t discard these. And then we get... Power three, um, the pylons collectively gain five life or discard the top card from the Nemesis deck. So there we go. And next turn is uh, Claudia. And here I'm going to prep the spark. I have three ether here. Um, hmm. And I think I'm going to spend the three ether to buy a charge. So one goes to waste. Um, or actually, no. You know what I'll do? I'll, uh, I'll buy a poly, polyphase turbine. So one, two, three, four, five. And that should be discarded, sorry. The next turn then, it's Claudia again. So we'll cast this um, for two, which will take out him. We'll put that in the discard pile. And then we can prep Dustcaller. And we have three, four, five, six here. Hmm. And I think I'm going to buy another Energized Rubidium. Um, and any alley may discard a card in hand. If they do, they gain one charge. So we can, one, two, three, four. Um, hmm. Let's discard a crystal. I'm sure we'll gain a charge for that. Um, and then we discard down. Go one, two, three, four, five. Next turn then. Uh, Mazra, so we can. Hmm. So I think I'm going to cast this to focus that. I will spend three ether to open it, and then I can prep storm vapors there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Next turn then is the Nemesis. So that goes to two. And we get Blind Enigma. If any player suffers one damage, or any player suffers one damage, if the Nemesis tier is two or higher, that player suffers two additional damage. So that uh, has seven. Next turn then the Nemesis. So one, uh, any player suffers one damage, the Nemesis tier is one. So we will give this to Mazra, so eight. And we get Shield Archon. Prevent all damage dealt to pylons. Any player discards their most expensive gem in hand. So 12. And then we get, it's Claudia. So, so 
So I'll cast Dust Caller for four plus one is five, uh, which goes to two. I have five ether here. I'm going to focus that for three and buy a charge for two. And we'll draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. And the next turn is the Nemesis. So this goes off. Uh, the Pylons collectively gain five life or discard the top card of the Nemesis deck. Um, well, we can... Hmm. So, um, the Pylons can't collectively gain five life, so I think I might have to discard the top card of the Nemesis deck. Um, if that's incorrect, let me know in the in the comments. But I just realized whenever I killed the uh, pylon before, I didn't uh, gain two ether for that. It's the nemesis that killed it, but I won't I won't go back and. Um, so this is any player suffers one damage, um, but it is now tier two. So we'll go with Claudia, take her down to six. Um, and then prevent all damage dealt to the pile uh, to pylons. Any player discards their most expensive gem in hand. So the most expensive for Claudia is um, Energize Rubidium. And the most expensive for uh, Mazra is also Energize Rubidium. So I think I will let Claudia discard that. And then we get uh, two discards, spend seven, unleash the player with the lowest life, suffers four damage. So that's a power two. And there we go. And it is Claudia. So um, we have Polyphase Turbine, and then we have three Ether. So we have. Uh, Two, five ether and a spark. So we'll prep the spark, and then we have five uh, ether here. Um, hmm. Let's um, let's open um, this breach for five. Um, yep. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the next turn then it's Claudia. So we will cast this spark for two, which takes out this minion. Um, we can then prep Dust Caller. And we get three, four, five, six here, um, which isn't enough to pay to get rid of this power, unfortunately. Um, so I think we will Let's, um, let's buy another dust color. Uh, well, any alley may discard a card in hand if they do gain one charge. So three, four, five, six. Well, they have seven here, so I want to keep that seven to try and get rid of that. So let's go on one, two, three, four, five. And we go on then to the last turn, which is Mazra. So, um, but we'll definitely cast this for three, and we gain a charge for casting it. Uh, and I'll do that damage here. Uh, nine. And we'll pick up one charge for that. Um, we have three, four, five, six, seven. Um, hmm. let's pay seven to get rid of that uh, and then we'll prep Mazra's arc um, any alley may discard a card and if they do they gain one charge so let's uh, one two three four five here um, let's discard one to gain a charge um, and that's the end of that turn. So we'll draw back out one, two, three, four, five. And we move on 
on to the next, which is the Nemesis. So any player discards the most expensive gem in hand. Um, so we only have crystals there, and we only have crystals here. So I think I will discard a crystal um, from Claudia's hand. And then we get Unleashed twice, any player or grave all suffers three damage. So any pylon gains two life or any player suffers two damage or the wanderer gains three life. Um, so I will do, take two damage to Mazra. Um, and then any player or grave all suffers three damage. So we'll take grave all down to 15. And the next is Mazra. So we'll cast this for three damage. Um, and focus our close breach with the lowest focus cost. So we'll take this down to six. Focus that breach. Um, we will spend four to gain two charges, which fully charges us up. We will use those charges to destroy this card. Um, and we will pick up we'll pick up another Mazra's Ark um, which we'll place into hand and then we can prep that and I just realised I never got the charge for that for the casting um, and that's all for this turn and then we get one, two three, four, five and the next turn then it's Mazra again. So we'll cast this for three plus a charge. Uh, so we'll do take this down to three. Um, focus that. And then we have we'll prep that and we have three, four, five, six, seven. Um Hmm. So I think here we will probably want to um let's start dealing damage here so we can if there um reduce all damage dealt to the wanderer by abilities and player cards. So we're gonna spend seven ether um to take the nemesis health down to thirty three, but it does one less. So reduce that damage by one um, when a player spends ether to deal damage to the wanderer. Um, I'm not sure given there's three pylons out whether each of those, it probably does, you know. Um, so that would only be four damage I do to the nemesis if we're reducing um, the damage by one for each of these. Um, Hmm, so perhaps it would be better to, instead of dealing damage, um, we instead spend five on a dust caller and the remaining two on a charge. Um, and um, any player can discard a card. Uh, so they have, we have three here. Um, let's discard another crystal to gain a charge and we go on then one, two, three, four, five and the next turn is uh, Claudia so we'll do four plus one is five damage which we'll do to uh, this pylon here so we'll go to four um, any alley returns a card that costs zero from their discard pile to their hand um, so the only one we can return is a crystal and I have two here so I'll spend those two on a charge one two three four five Next is Claudia again. 
Um, so here we'll prep the spark. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, Hmm. And I think I will I'll buy another dust color um, for five and then spend two on a charge. So that's everything and we can, uh, an ally can discard a card to gain a charge because of Energized Rubidium, which I will discard uh, a crystal fully charge up Masha um, and that's all we do for this turn we'll keep those together um, and we'll draw back up so one two three four five and the last turn has to be then the nemesis so any player discards their most expensive gem in hand so the most expensive gem is Energized Rubidium there, and for Mazra it is Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. So I'll choose Mazra, um, and then we have Blazing Archon. Grateful suffers one damage, any pylon gains two life. That has a life of ten, and that's all for this turn. And we get... Claudia. So we will deal two damage with this spark to let's do it to this pylon. Um, prep dust caller. Uh, we have three, four, five, six, six ether. Um, I think I will. I think I'll buy another. Dust color. Um, I can't buy any charges, and uh, there's no point in discarding a card because we're already fully charged up for Mashra. So, one, two, three, four, five. And the next turn, then it's Claudia again. So, we'll cast Dust Caller for five, which we can do to this nemesis um, prep a dust caller uh, sorry any alley returns a card that costs zero in hand so we have just crystals that cost zero here so we'll return that crystal um, and then we have one two three four here um, and I think I will just hmm, why don't we focus that twice? One, two, three, four, five. And the next is the Nemesis. So any player discards the most expensive gem in hand. Again, I'm going to choose Mazra. Uh, because, yeah, I don't want to discard an Energized Rubidium. Uh, Grayfall suffers one damage. Any pylon gains two life. So we will go to four on that. Um, and then we get Unleash. The players collectively discard two prepped spells. Any player suffers two damage. Oh, that's painful. Um... So we'll go six for the Unleash, and then the players collectively discard two prep spells. Any player suffers two damage. So Claudia will go to four. Dying. Next is the Nemesis again. Any player discards the most expensive gem in hand. Um, Grateful suffers one damage. Any pylon gains two life. So we'll go to eight for this. And we get spend seven to discard, unleash twice. The players collectively discard three cards in hand. That's a power one. And then the last two then have to be Mazra. So let's 
first of all, we'll spend all these charges uh, to destroy this Mazra's Ark. And we can gain either uh, Mazra's Inferno or Mazra's Gift. So Mazra's Inf Inferno is deal 6 damage or deal 4 damage, destroy a card in hand. And Mazra's Gift is uh, deal 4 damage or and any alley gains one charge or deal four damage any alley gains one life um i think hmm let's gain a mazra's gift um and i'll prep that there um and then i'll pass then two ether to gain a charge and one two three four five and the last turn has to be again Mazra. So we get Mazra's gift, so deal four damage um, plus a charge, uh, and any alley gains one life. So we'll deal four damage and we'll take out um, cross crawler Mazra's. Let's take out this one. Um, any player, any alley gains one life, so probably you can go back to five. Let's prep. Oh, we also gain a charge. Uh, let's prep Dust Caller there and Mazra's Ark there. And then we have three, four, five here. Um, well, I could keep Mazra's Ark and spend two more on a charge, or, on two char or four of this on a charge, which charges it up fully which allows us to destroy this and we take a Mazra's Inferno into hand and prep that. Um, any alley can discard a card but we don't want to. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and that's the end of that turn. Oh, we forgot to spend these charges as well. Sorry. And the next turn then is Claudia. So we have Dust Caller. We'll prep that. And then we have three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight here. Uh, and I think I will spend that to get rid of this. Uh, any alley can discard a card in hand. Um, if they do, they gain one charge. So we have two, three, four, five. I'll discard that to gain a charge. Um, hmm. And then one, two, three, four, five. And the next is uh, Masra. Okay, so let's um, cast this for four plus a charge. So we'll do that there. Actually, no. Let's do that to this. Then we can deal six damage from this to take out this minion. Um, we prep that and then we have two, three, four um, and we can let's I think let's buy another two charges so we're fully charged up well actually if we hmm because we have this ability we can why don't we do this uh, we can spend uh, Claudia's charges here um, and we have two, three, four um, so we can gain another five ether so we have nine so we can do six damage here so take that down to 34 um, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. And the next.
Yes, then it's minus right again. So we'll cast this for three. Take that down to one, gain one charge. Um, we'll prep Majra's gift. Um, so we have three, four, five, six here. Um, and we let's do another three here. Uh, any player can discard a card in hand. Three, four, five. Uh, let's discard a crystal to gain a charge. Um, and that's that. One, two, three, four, five. And the next is Claudia. So we can cast this for four plus one is five, which we can do here. Um, Prep Dust Caller and Spark. Um, and then we have three, we have four ether to spend. Um, oh, sorry, for Dust Caller, any alley returns a card that costs zero in hand. So we can return a crystal or zero in their discard pile to their hand. So yeah, and then we have four ether here. Um, and we can spend that on two charges. One, two, three, four, five. And the last turns have to be the nemesis. So we get Volcanic Zala. Gravehold suffers three damage or any player loses two charges. And that's a power or health of ten. Um, Gravehold suffers three damage or any player loses two charges. I think I will... Hmm, let's lose two charges there. Um, and then we get... Spend eight to discard. Unleash twice. Gravehold suffers four damage. Any player destroys the top four cards of their deck. So the power two. Next turn is Mazra. So uh, we can cast this for four damage immediately to hit this. So six. Where is it? There. Uh, any alley gains one charge or we can choose option two any alley gains one life uh, I think I'll gain a charge for Claudia uh, we also gain a charge for casting off breach three um, hmm. let's prep dust scholar Mazra's inferno and then we have three four um, I buy two charges with this four. Uh, yeah. And then one, two, three, four, five. And the next is Nemesis. So um, let's lose two charges. Or that this goes to one and we get uh, destroy two open breaches power one on these three times oh no and then we get it's Claudia so we cast this for five uh, which kills this. Cast this for, or it doesn't, it takes it down to one, and then we'll cast the spark for two, which kills it. Um, and then prep that. We have four ether. So we can, let's spend two in a charge, um, and two to focus that. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it 
is Nemesis, so this goes um, Unleashed twice, Grateful suffers four damage, any player discards the top four cards or destroys the top four cards of their deck. So let's hmm, let's um, take two damage to Claudia and two damage to Mazra. Grateful suffers four damage, goes to nine. Uh, and then any player destroys the top four cards of their deck. Two, three, four. So we have to destroy those. Uh, destroy two open breaches. Unleash three times. Or unleash uh, three times. Hmm. So we can... Two life here. Um, we can take another two and another two, so seven. And then spend seven to discard, unleash the player with the most charges, suffers four damage and loses all of their charges. Power one. I think we're going to lose this one. Um, Claudia uh, will cast this for five, which takes it to two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll spend seven to get rid of that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And it is, of course, Masra. Uh, so we can deal four damage here to take out this one, which gains us a charge. We can do six here, uh, or four and destroy a card in hand. I think I'll do six here, take it to, to three. Um, hmm. Then I can... I have three, four, five, six, seven ether here. So I can spend two to fully charge up. Return all, I'll spend those charges to return to your hand all cards with Mazra in their name from our discard. So we'll take Mazra's Inferno back. Uh, we'll prep that again. Uh, three, four, five, and then we'll prep that. So we spent two already, so we and we had three, four, five, six, seven. So we have five left. And I'll buy two more charges. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. And we move on to the next turn. So we get it's Claudia. So we'll do cast that for five, which takes out this sorry that pylon should be there um, we actually forgot to give ourselves two ether for uh, killing the pylon so we'll take two ether and we would have bought a charge with that uh, we get another two we get two ether as Claudia um, and here I'm going to prep those two we have three four five seven ether here um, I'm going to deal that as damage to the Wanderer, so we'll go down to 24, but because there's a pylon still there, we reduce the damage by 1, so 25. Uh, any player can discard um, the card in hand, uh, and I think I will discard that to gain another charge. And we go one, two, three, four, five. And the next turn then is Mazra. So here we can, hmm, let's cast this for three. Well, first of all, no, let's, um, Uh, 
Yeah, we'll cast this for three to take out that minion or that pylon, which gives us two ether. Um, so we have three, four, five ether. Uh, we can cast this for six damage, um, which will only take it down to one for 24. Um, we can spend these charges to return all cards with Mazra in their name to our hand. So Mazra, and I think that's that's all the Mazra cards in there. Um, we'll prep Mazra's gift, uh, Mazra's Inferno. Did I take a charge for casting off that? I think I did. Um, okay, so then we have three. Uh, plus the two from taking out this is five. Uh, so we'll go to 19 here. Uh, and then we need one, two. Mm. That should have been discarded. One, two, three, four, five. And next turn then is Majra again um, so we can we have three four five six seven here um, plus uh, Claudia is fully charged so we can spend those charges to gain another five so seven plus five is twelve which we can deal um, so we go down to ten, seven, um, and then we can just keep that one, two, three, four, five. And the next turn, then Nemesis, and we get unleash twice. Place a dampening pylon in the pylon discard pile into play. The player with the most expensive gem in hand discards all gems in hand. Oh no. So unleash twice. Um, any player suffers two damage, or the wanderer gains three life, or any pylon gains two life. So I guess we're going to have to go down to two damage there, and one damage for Claudia. Then we have place a dampening pylon in the pylon discard pile into play. That's 10. The player with the most expensive gem in hand discards all gems in hand. So that's going to be Claudia. That's not good. That's very, very bad. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> we were close. And it's uh, Masra. So we can do six damage uh, to this, which takes it down to four. And then we can also do four damage with that, which takes out the pylon. Um, and any, play, uh, any alley gains one life, so we can go up to two for Claudia. We can, we also gain one charge. We can those two and we have three to spend here which we will use to take that down and we go one two three four five and the last turn is the nemesis and we get power to unleash the player with the most expensive prep spell destroys it if that spell costs four ether or less unleash and any player suffers three damage. And then next is uh, Mazra. So I'm going to spend I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'll spend four to take out the nemesis. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was very close in the end. Um, I'm, I'm not sure on the rule for these pylons. Um, I think it might be if you have each one 
reduces uh, the damage by one so it's collective um, so if you have two outstanding and you have you spend four ether to deal damage uh, it reduces it to two uh, if that's incorrect let me know um, but yeah that was a uh, was a close game um, I thought I thought once we got into the three uh, tier three cards we were um, on the ropes and probably going to lose um, but we had actually built up quite a bit of uh, damage dealing power with the upgrades from Mazra's deck um, which yeah that's a really interesting um, mechanic um, and then obviously we had quite a strong economy um, with Aether particularly from Claudia um, especially with her special ability um, so we made good use out of that uh, I think we did 12 damage um, including 5 from Claudia's Aether um, when, when we uh, activated that power um, but yeah let me know in the in the comments if you have any thoughts otherwise thanks for joining and hope you could join again next time thank you